Anyway, we're going to go into Thorzine versus Alive. Right now, the score is one and one apiece. Mm -hmm. This is the rubber match. And the map will be Ohana. Oh, my Aww. God. Bitter. Bitter. I'm talking to you right now. One-to-one -one conversation. I can't wait for this match, man. <laughs> this match is going to be so great. Do you know why? Because you on your balance sheet just said that Ohana has some of the best games. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much, Bitter. End conversation. Uh, of course, Greetorp is saying this because he helped design Ohana. If you actually look at Ohana and the thread that okay, introduced it, it said special let thanks me, to Greetorp. Let Greetorp's. me get this straight. 100% straight, okay? The wonderful people at TPW, specifically Iron Man, is the one that designed this. Yeah. Okay, he switched over to ESV though. <laughs> so it is ESV, Ohana. But if you guys have ideas about maps, I would highly suggest you contact him because he is a brilliant map maker. I like a lot of his maps. Unfortunately, we couldn't implement all of them. You don't want to switch up the maps too often. Mm -hmm. But a great guy. Um, and he gave me the chance to work with him. And through that, I was able to take his original Hana and just balance it out a little bit, make okay. it nicer for the matchups because I think the original Hana was very Terran favored, <laughs> very like ridiculously Terran favored. You can actually hide Medivacs in the top left hand corner, and your your opponent would never know it's coming. Like it's actually in the opponent's ridiculous. base, there's like one island for a siege tank to just drop on. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy how good it was. Yeah. So. We balanced it up a little bit. We reduced the amount of bases on the m on the map, and overall, I think it's been performing really well, really, really well. Who do you like working with better, me or Iron Man? Frodan, that's like the easiest question ever. Thanks. Thanks, man. That means a lot. Easily you. Thank you. But I would say Iron Man is. <laughs> You're such a troll. I, <laughs> I oh, would say I thought I was being so nice. Now you've been hanging around Rotterdam too much. Man. No, no, too much trolling. Dude, Iron Man is uh, a pleasure to work with. He's very yeah. passionate about map making, which is very rare, I think, in the scene. Yeah. Map making really important. You can check him out at this uh, show. I, I believe it's called Mappers, hold, uh, hosted by Nursky. So I think they have five episodes out already. You can check out him yeah, and uh, out. everything else. Guys, let's introduce our players. It's been a long time since we talked about this game. Yep. Both players are opening up command center, fast command center, but let's t start with the green Terran in the top left corner. He is Thorzane from Mouse Sports CC. One of the best Terrans, I think, in the foreigner scene, if not the best Terran, foreigner Terran currently on top of everything. He is currently tied 1-1 against this person on the bottom right. He's the purple Terran. His name is Alive from Team Fnatic Raid Call. And Alive showing why he is really good at TVT in game number two. And we'll see what kind of Alive shows up in game three. Now let's go into the scouting very quickly. You can see Alive doesn't know anything about his opponent. And likewise, Thorzane doesn't know anything about his opponent either. Both of them are doing slightly different styles. You can see that Thorzen has cho chosen to go a factory before his reactor. And Alive went the reactor before his factory. All it means is Alive is a little bit safer against a lot of different pushes because getting that extra reactor, or the reactor a little bit faster, yeah. gets him the extra marine pump. It should be only like <laughs> one or two, but it's saying I'm really defensive against Something that's a little bit more common back in the day, which was a marine Hellion push. It was very, very common uh, to yeah. see that. But we don't see that anymore these days for good reason. A bunker stop set. But Alive is just getting that reactor to hold off against any shenanigan like that. You know, that build still hangs around. I remember TLO used to do it back when he played Terran. And it's it's kind of a funky build that some people do. I remember BC was pointing out a lot about it. But yeah, you know, that just makes you safe generally against most things. And you can see Alive uh, immediately starting to uh, to get up his starport about to finish and also preparing a tech lab. Now, a very common transition out of this, Andre, is usually a Banshee Harass of some sort. But um, we see Thorzane actually going for a fast Raven. Cool. That's actually kind of cool. So playing towards the meta game, expecting his opponent is going to go Banshee. And look at that yeah. cloak gets started. So Live's going for Cloak Banshee, not just a regular Banshee. I love this. I think Thorzane has geared himself up for a very nice opening to counter his opponent's build. The problem is, well, I guess not the problem, but the, the one thing is, Alive can still do a lot of damage to Cloak Banshee even though you have a Raven. He still has the potential to kill a ton of SCVs if, if his opponent's Raven is not in good position. But it's all going to be up to positioning and how he chooses to utilize his Raven. 
and where he chooses to put it in the main or the natural, and then mm -hmm. where a live actually goes to Oh, look at this. Missile turret's going up as well. Wow, he knows. How does he know, Well, man? he saw only Marines, so there's no... That's you can true. see there's just no investment of gas somewhere else, and he knows a live loves Banshee control, yes. which is something that he is notorious for in TVT. Thor is Aiden. Very, very good in terms of reading his opponent currently. And you can see Alive, he's been desperate for information. He scouts his opponent and sees the siege tank, but he doesn't see the Raven. Blue Flame. Oh, he doesn't see the Raven. It was just on the outskirts. It's pretty cool. Blue Flame Hellion is underway. So we're seeing another round of uh, mech play coming out from Mr. Alive. We'll see how successful this Banshee is going to be. With Cloak. Did he cancel Cloak? Oh, he did cancel Cloak. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, very interesting. Oh, live, barely uh, saving his banshee, almost flying directly into the turret. Thorzane already knows everything, and he's getting, oh, sorry, Alive is getting his own banshee. And now we see a transition and a deviation. Thorzane, of course, he loves his marine tank style, plays it to perfection. Um, alive, sticking more towards his mech roots, and we saw him do it very well in game number two as well, so immediate clash of styles, but last time we saw Alive kind of control the center, but he didn't exude that much control, and that, if he doesn't do that in this game, because uh, Thorzane is doing much better economically than he did in game number oh, two. Oh yeah, I mean, we can <laughs> definitely say that the initial drop we saw last game dealt serious blows, and Thorzane was behind. And if you are behind against Alive, it's very hard. He's one of the players. He was actually said to be one of the top Terrans in the world. So if you're behind, behind against Torp. him, behind me, of course. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to get into that right now. Oh, <laughs> man, the Banshee almost f getting taken out here by the Marines. And that Banshee is very valuable because it represents time on the starport as well as gas. Especially if you're playing mech, you don't want to lose that gas advantage in any shape or form. So Banshee being recalled immediately. Thorzane uh, has a pretty intimidating force here. There's not much uh, from Alive out just yet. He's He's got his own batch of Marines, but he only has really one or two tanks compared to Thorzane's four. And Thorzane scans and sees. Alive doesn't have that big of uh, a defense attempt here. Kay. Alive just about to get siege mode. It's just about to finish. I like what Thorzane is doing here. It actually commits a lot of defenses in the early game stage. Normally, Alive likes to have map control. If he has map control mm -hmm. at this point, he actually puts down a command center. That's true, yeah. And now that he has, um, you know, to worry about all this, this harassment, through multiple places, you can see a factory actually is in the worst place possible. Well, all of a sudden it's like, okay, all my minerals and gas actually goes towards defending, getting a ton of units. But here we go. Oh my gosh, these Hellions. Oh. Will the Supply Depot's raise in time? Yes, oh, they will. Yeah. Thorazine's too good for that. I mean, and Alive, it was a good idea too. You're just making sure to keep it accountable. And you see that Alive ultimately just wants to assume map control, sending an alien to that third base, killing off any straggling Marines. And uh, at this point, Thorzane, some really important upgrades are going to finish Stim and Combat Shields. But he knows that ultimately he needs to outpace his opponent because he's, oh, he's wow. not going to have map control forever. Excuse me, this is actually four factories. When you go four factories, oh, wow. almost always you have some sort of timing push. And he's going to hit it right now. Now Thorzane is in a tough position. He has a good amount of siege tanks, but not a great amount of siege tanks. Yes, he has a lot of production here, <laughs> but he stopped with the siege tank production. That's pretty tough because he needs those siege tanks to actually defend against this incoming push. And look at this, Alive is going to circumvent the vision of Thorzane. With this watchtower, he thinks he knows everything that's coming, but oh man, Thorzane does have a Marine over here, so we'll spot out what's going on. Yeah, he sees it and he, he, he has a pretty good idea of it as well. And uh, he also has some pretty good upgrades that will line up. He's making Marauders as well to handle oh, this. Man. Uh, but go. that Raven... How well, does he handle this? Oh my gosh. And he's going to let the units go right around. This is terrible. Alive's going to take great position, and it's a base trait that we will see. Oh, Thorzane trying to see if he can rush his opponent's base, and he lets the Hellions up the natural ramp, but not the main. And he's trying to see if he can corner them based off of the point defense zone. Drops two of them, in fact, from Alive. And Thorzane, he's not going to be able to hold too long back at home, but he's about to go to the natural. Now, Alive does have a couple tanks. Perfect. And Alive... He's the one that certainly has a supply advantage as the army supply is vastly in favor of Alive. Great decision making by Alive, just evacuating that natural, not trying to take that position in Thorzane oh, is man. cut. He cannot push forward. There it is, GG. And Alive will take 
Game number three and the series very well played on Ohana. Yep. A live showing why he should be IPL4 champion. I mean, honestly, he won three series in IPL4 over Ganji, Marine King Prime, and uh, Bolt, of course. Yes. The person that uh, Thorzane also beat. So showing his DVT is very good. He maintains a pretty good win rate. We were saying his win rate was 75%. 75. Now, I want to bring up an inter interesting statistic. In 2012, Thorzane, if he won s game number one, he would go on to win the entire series 100% of the time. And so uh, wow. for a while, statistics would be like, oh, man, Thorzane just, you know, he's been playing like a killer recently, but showing that uh, even though he, he, he didn't win that game, he still plays TVT very well. Yeah, and that being said, congratulations to Alive, even though Thorzane did, uh, did fall. He yes. was... Our, our hearts broke a little bit. Yeah, you have to and say. Uh, we, we did pick a live to win, but in the end, Thorzane did fall just short. We'll have to see if he's able to come back next week. Guys, that game was brought to you none other than iBuyPower. And thank you so much to them for sponsoring NSL Season 3. Go to iBuyPower.com to buy your pre-assembled PC. I'm going to get mine really soon. We'll be back uh, with a special guest as well as our next series of the day. Don't go anywhere. More action from Division 4 coming up next.